Hello, bonjour, guten tag, buenos dias, dobrý den, welcome to me paintings. I'm Veronica Mee and I love to bring art to everyone. Today's tutorial will be very interesting because I would like to compare three different swipes with same colors. I will be using acrylics from ArtKey and I would like to thank ArtKey for sponsoring this video. I will be using their beautiful shades of colors. I chose this powder blue, yellowish green, lemon yellow, orange, light pink, rose and violet and I'll be also using this ultramarine blue which will be my swiping color. At the beginning I would like to show you how I mix my colors so you know all the information. I'm gonna mix my colors in this old yogurt cup. So let's put a blob of color ultramarine in this little measuring cup. It's full of color, all in there. And I'm gonna mix it with pouring medium. I make my own pouring medium from PVA glue. I use 60% of glue, 40% of distilled water. Mix it together and that creates my pouring medium. Now I'm gonna mix my acrylics with three cups of pouring medium. One, two, three. Mix it up very well. Perfect. This is the right consistency. And I'm gonna add two drops of silicone oil in each color. In all of my colors, which I'll be using. One, two. Mix it up a little bit. And that's all prepared for our comparison. My canvases are also from ArtKey. The middle one is stretched canvas. And these two are canvas panels which will be perfect for my comparison. So let's start pouring my colors. I'm gonna start with this beautiful baby blue color. Now I'm going to show you first swipe, which will be just one way swipe with ultramarine blue. So here on this edge, and I've got this piece of plastic sheet, which is great tool for swiping. So let's see how it looks. Let's use my heat gun to pop these cells. Later on, I will show you the difference between heat gun and torch, but this time I'm using heat gun for popping these cells. Perfect, some beautiful cells showed here. So now I wonder, how will it look with double swipe? Again, I pour my ultramarine on this edge. Use the plastic sheet for swiping. I'm gonna pop some of these cells. Just a little bit, not too much. Oh, these grow so beautifully. And let's swipe back. So again, I'm gonna use my heat gun and pop these cells. slightly similar but the color combination here is a little bit different a little bit smoother and you might already guess the third canvas will be with three swipes so let's pour the blue here and swiping down i 
I will just swipe down, up and down. Heat gun, here we go. Okay, so that was a very interesting experiment. These two are quite similar, although this top part is nicer here than here. And then this one, I love this one. I love the color combination between cells and like this top, it's beautiful. So I hope this was an interesting comparison for you. And now I would like to show you the difference between torch and heat gun. So you see how different the cells are when you use heat gun and torch. So this is just one swipe. This is double swipe. And triple swipe, which is probably my favorite. Beautiful. And meanwhile, I wanted to show you this jelly gouache paint set, which you can use in many craft projects. I'm going to take these lids off and show you how it works i would say it's something between acrylics and watercolors so if you want to experiment go for it and i'm going to show you a little craft project which you can use for gifts for your loved ones or for little fairs i'm going to draw on this watercolor paper and use this kind of flat brush for that After a few minutes, it's dry. It dries much faster than acrylics. And now I'm gonna use my Posca pen to paint these beautiful doodles. And here you've got your super easy bookmark, which you can decorate with so many things. For heat gun and torch comparison, I'm gonna do a pretty simple thing. I chose these two colors, Prussian blue and titanium white, because it will be easier for you to see the difference between cells. I mixed my colors the same way like before. And these canvases are again canvas panels. And the torch, which I'll be using, I bought it in Lidl. It was 10 euros. It's not expensive, but it's extremely hot. So you have to be careful with it. It's not hair dryer. This is used by men in their special man caves, <laughs> but it's good for cells. Uh, so I'm going to compare this heat gun with this kind of torch, which I also bought in local store. This was three euros so this also wasn't expensive um, in the past i used some pretty expensive torches which were extremely dangerous i was playing with fire i wouldn't recommend using those big bhutan torches this is just a cheap way and it it's enough for creating beautiful cells you will see so let's pour this prussian blue on both of these canvases and spread it everywhere. Okay, all covered with paint. Now I'm gonna pour this white mixed with pouring medium on these edges and swipe both with my plastic sheet. So firstly, I'm going to use my torch on this one. A 
very interesting. So the torch created a small tiny cells which started to grow after a while. And now let's see the heat gun. So heat gun actually created less cells, but bigger ones. And these will grow into big cells. So this is a detail of torch, beautiful, beautiful lacing. So if you're looking for lacing like this, I recommend torch. And this is the heat gun, which has got completely different cells, like bigger ones, but also beautiful. So it depends what you prefer. I sometimes prefer heat gun, sometimes storage, so it depends on the type of the project which I'm making. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. I hope it was interesting for you to see the differences between swipes and also heat gun and torch. And please let me know in the comment below if you enjoyed this type of video and maybe if you've got another suggestions, I'll be grateful for any kind of comment. I wish you all loads of success and enjoy your creative time. Thank you for watching and I can't wait to see you again. Bye!